Everybody, hello and good evening, and welcome back to Unmetal. Am I coming through okay? Alright, let's make sure everything. Actually, I don't think we need to, but we're gonna do it anyways. Uh, I mean, it's just PC, so everything's zeroed, but A, B, C, one, two, three. I think it should be fine. Yeah. Alright, so let's get back into it where we last left off. Um. I don't even remember. Oh yeah, that's right. we're, we're in this base. And I think... Uh, no, we still don't have the level 3 key card. Because we just found our way around. Oh yeah, we got the empty thermal suits. We could actually go up to the third floor. Get the anti-thermal suit, and we also got the uh, chloroform uh, rag. And it's unlimited, so here's hoping we don't get thrown into another prison cell for a crime we didn't commit. All right. I don't know which one job. it is. I don't Try even know if he's even sleep. in here. I wonder what happens if I actually have it out. Hang on. Although I'm pretty sure when we have it equipped, he just has it in his mouth, swirling around like it's a jawbreaker. Although this one has a bandage. Looks like it has a bandage on his head. This might be that guy. Still fuzzy, doctor. That's expected. You got hit pretty hard. But it looks like your eyes will recover. Okay, she said eyes as in plural. I'm. I don't yes, want to hit her, but I want to find out what happens if I do. More morphine. <laughs> I've already given you too much. I can't give you any more. Uh, I don't, don't want to hit the hot doctor. I'd rather hit on the hot doctor, but okay, not that way. Okay, can 
go out that way. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I could have there was like an elevator around here somewhere. Oh, there's a door right there. I didn't even see it. There we go. us to that little like hangar area where we fought the, like the giant drone that was dropping shipping crates on us. Thermal suit, a shiny, delicate, and fragile suit used for heat related tasks. Alright, it looks more or less the same. What? I'm sorry. Oh, I knew better God than dang to it. punch while wearing the suit. It was delicate and could tear. Bad news no punches while wearing the suit. Good news. Scoring more points with the doctor. I didn't know I had to push the dang button. Right, just kill me. Alright, let's try that again. Put it on this time. Okay, so yeah, it, I thought it would just have like, uh, I thought it was gonna like automatically equip it. No, we gotta push the button, the item button, to actually wear it. I knew better than to punch while wearing the suit. It was delicate and could tear. Bad news, no punches while wearing the suit. Good news, scoring more points with the doctor. With the, uh, the hot doctor. Floor. This is where the offices should be. Search for more files. We need more intel about the attack. That's not going to be easy. In the middle of the night, those offices should be empty. Haven't seen anyone yet, but there's a thermal sensor. I can't proceed without setting it off. Do you have any ideas? In the army, we use insulating suits to conceal our body temperatures. I okay, we had this conversation. Jericho was quite revealing. It had a map of the Cantor province with exact coordinates, an ambush plan, and a picture of the colonel with his name under it. Apparently their plan was to kidnap the colonel without leaving a trace. The second file of Operation Jericho was a compendium okay. of coded notes. Colonel, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fox. Colonel, I discovered a third document. Good job, son. What's on it? Let me take a look at it. Interesting. What was your name? Colonel Alan Harris. Why do you ask? Because your name is written here. Don't pull my leg, son. I'm serious, Colonel. It's right here. Damn. This means that they need me for their plan. Is there a secret wall here? Oh, 
about uh, Jesse Robert. here. Do you copy? I hear you. Nope, not from Robert. Triple A like this. <laughs> uh, a little too early to tell, but so far I'm liking it. Fox here. Over. What is it, Fox? I'm still on the third floor. I don't know how to pass the sensor. All right. Give me luck finding. We already got a suit. I'm gonna have this guy call him while wearing the suit. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. Are you sure this will work? Absolutely, son. Put it on and pass through the sensors. Let me know it works. You. Ah, okay. So, first floor, the lift, the file. I got that file, I think. Pretty sure I did. Water closet. Uh, all the stuff I went through there, and then led back down to here. Okay, so I'm on the third floor. Uh, just got the file. Now I'm in that bottom, uh, bottom low uh, uh, room there. Secret room, let me in! Colonel, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fox. Are you sure this will work? Okay. Absolutely. Have we exploded yet? No. But we could test to see if the whole uh, sodium and water thing actually works. Remember my chemistry. In the next corridor, I ran into. What the hell do all, the, all these mean? Picked something I have, I have no idea. A GRD, a GERD, my GERD. Three guards. Jesus Christ. I don't see a sensor, so I think we're good. Don't need that. Hey, 
The coin. Oh! Escaping prisoner. He saw me. <laughs> he saw me. Okay, it's saved. Actually, hang on. Um, let's see what the other ones are. In the next corridor, I ran into. Uh, let's see, DTC or uh, SHP? This is a guard. What the heck is this? Detector? Maybe. Two detectors. Oh, okay. So what's the other one? Okay. In the next corridor, I ran into two hundred fifty sheep. What the fuck? Oh, that counter hasn't uh, reset since, uh, it's control. Do we just keep it as is? Just let it keep going, like cumulatively. Come on! Yeah, all right, we'll keep the sheep. How do you know it's 250? Let's see. Uh, one, two, three. Glasses. There's another means. Hmm. Who are you? Jesus, you scared me. Sorry, I didn't think anyone was up here. Yeah, me neither. My name's Mike, and you are. I'm Mike, maintenance. <laughs> I had the day off today, but our damn officer kept me here the whole night fixing stuff. What an asshole. I'm gonna kick his ass so hard, he'll drop his level three access card and be stuck in this building. Where's his office? Really? Wow! It's right behind you. That's the door. The one with the lasers? Yep. Let me guess. Deadly lasers. Yep, disintegrate you on contact. Oof. Well, maybe another time then. Hold on. If we generate a small power surge in the right circuit, those lasers will shut down. Great. 
Let's do it. I'll need at least 12 batteries. We keep them in the boxes on this floor. You get the batteries. I'll prepare the surge. Dang it! Nap! Nap! Ah! Oh my god, there's so many of them! Uh, okay, at least there's that. Supposed to open the break with the freaking. Uh. Sheep! That don't work. Maybe. I don't want to waste a Molotov. It's probably a very bad idea. Nope. Yep. That was, that was a very bad idea. Yes! I will shoot these sheep. They'll get out of my way. Just gotta connect them to this wire and... 
Lasers deactivated? Nope. Shocked my hands. Let's try this again. Let's try this wire instead. You okay? Bye, lasers. It's gonna take a while to fix them, but no regrets. Totally worth it. Thanks, Mike. I owe you one. Don't sweat it, Mike. We're even. Thanks, Mike. I was finally in front of the office door. Oh, no. On the other side, I could hear someone talking on the phone. Yes? I see. Are you sure about that? Damn! That's high treason! No, that won't be necessary. I'll deal with it personally. Officer with the access card I needed, but he was leaving through the other door, oh, and the card be. had to be on him. What was he talking about? Who was the traitor? It wasn't long before I found out my answers. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. It looks like you're in some big shit, pal. I've been listening to some radio comms, and does the doctor sound familiar to you? Fuck yes. Why? Because I heard that someone is going to arrest him for treason. Damn it. I have to stop them. Careful, Fox. Don't panic. This shot could be a trap. Robert's call made my head spin. I left the office as fast as I could. It took me less than two minutes to reach the sick bay. Doctor! I'm coming! Oh no, the sheep! Motherfucker! Can't shoot them either. Face escaping prisoner, send back up. Oh, Frank Nuggets. That is a dick move. Sometimes there's no choice but to neutralize the guards with a clean shot. Ugh. But I'm gonna lose points with the doctor! Ugh, fine. Throw a Molotov in this herd of sheep. I shot a guard. I couldn't let him die. I promised it to the doctor. I had to heal him before bleeding to death. So I got close, and I used one of my first aid kits. You're gonna be just fine. Wait, 
Wait, what? Oh. Bastards were going to arrest their own doctor. Sons of bitches. I wasn't going to let it happen. As I got close, I could hear shouting from inside. Then I remembered what Robert told me about being careful. I held back my urge to kill and listened to the conversation. And why did you give him your access card? I didn't. He took it from my jacket. But you did nothing to stop it! This is high treason! You're in deep shit, Dr. Hoffman! So, Dr. Hoffman? I'm surprised, Mr. Fox. You managed to remember a surname. Well, I had a neighbor named Hoffman. Big German man. Very hairy. He won the lottery and was planning to retire, but his gonorrhea had other plans. Fascinating. Let's return to the story, please. Sure. Where was I? Okay. This is High Treason. You're in deep shit, Dr. Hoffman. Good. Just testing if you were listening. You want a doctor that has no idea how to fight? Stop a man that knocked out all your guards? Are you really that stupid? Don't you dare insult my intelligence. I know you gave him medical attention. How many wounded have you healed, Lieutenant? I'll tell you, none. Why? Because your job is to be a paper-pushing butter bar. Mine, on the other hand, is to heal and attend to anyone who needs it, even if that person killed my family. Aiding the enemy in this space is treason. My oath has no restrictions on who I must heal. You want to arrest me? Then tell me, Lieutenant, who is going to save the lives of your soldiers if I'm in a cell? You? A man so incompetent that a prisoner is running circles around him? How dare you! Now stop pestering me and get the hell out of my sick bay! This isn't the end, Doctor. You're on thin ice! Man, she's one badass doctor. Shit, they're coming out. And off he went, taking Fish. the level 3 card with him. I needed that card if I wanted to get out of this building. But before that, I had to check if the doctor was okay. Damn right we're gonna go check this, uh, check the doctor. Doctor, are you all right? Why do you ask? I found out you were going to be arrested. So I ran here to help, but I heard people shouting, and I saw those men walking out. That's Lieutenant Markison. All bark and no brain. I can't stand that, moron. Really? I couldn't tell. But once he speaks to General Lex, I'll have some serious problems. You've dragged me into quite a mess. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to cause you trouble. Yeah, I know. Anyway, thanks for worrying about me. It's what I do. That Markison has a level 3 card on him. I'll understand if I see him in my sick bay later. You read my mind. See you around, Doc. Hang on. <laughs> oh, <goody. laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on! I'm gonna do it. Wait, what? Oh, God dang it! Ouch! Deja vu. What the hell were you doing? I was leaning in for a hug. <laughs> with your eyes closed? And you said kiss out loud. <laughs> Let's never speak of this again. Fine by me. You look tired. Take these first aid kits. Thanks, Doctor. Save some for Lieutenant Markison. If you shoot him, don't let him bleed to death. I'll be executed as an accomplice if he dies. Now go! Catch him before he exits the building! What? 
Good kiss. God dang it. Well, well, well. If it isn't the slippery, cowardly pet of that traitorous bitch. What's up? Is your conjugal visit over? <laughs> I'm in charge of enforcing curfew, and only I can leave from here. Problem with a building this large? There are too many hideouts for a mutt like you. So... Now it's just you and us, mutt. You can't run, and you can't hide. Okay. Oh, God dang it. You didn't... What? How are you just out of range? Well, well. Ah, don't... You're gonna let your men die. You're a tough little mongrel, aren't you? I wonder if old dogs can learn new tricks. Let's see you chew your way through lasers. I'm sorry, what? Oh, frick nuggets. Shut up. No, don't. Oh, come on. I'm trying to help your comrades, and this is how you repay me? No, don't shoot me! Your men are gonna die! Asshole. I'm about to throw a Molotov at him. Well, well, Shut up. Well. Yes, yes, lasers. Shut up.
Gotcha. Boss defeated. <laughs> Finish this, once and for all. Don't even think about it, bastard. Death would be too good for you. I'm going to keep you alive, and you'll lie here on the ground until someone finds you. Everyone will know that a single prisoner defeated you. The best part? You'll be severely injured. I wonder how it'll feel, being the patient of a woman you called a traitor. No! No! I'll be taking that, thank you very much. fun fight. Kind of remind me of the old uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 fight with Revolver Ocelot. Just a little bit. Minus the laser, of course. Okay, suit. Oh, man, where's the... Uh... Okay, it doesn't tell me which ones needed what. Uh, I don't remember any level 3 doors on floor 2. I don't know about that uh, room in the uh, far end. Oh, I came in here. Where the offices should be. Search for more files. We need more. In All right, so, uh, what about uh... Jesse here? Do you copy? I hear you. Nothing for him. That one. 
There's gotta be another room that I missed somewhere. Was there one on floor two? I don't remember. Let's take a look around. So that went around. The long way took me through that whole like fiasco of the floor. That led me back into that other room on the first floor. So I don't really need to be here. I got everything in there. Yeah, because I'd had the secret in there. Okay, I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm good. So we're just going to go. Buddies are gone, but he's still here. I tried to open the door with the level three card, but the exit also had a biometric scanner, oh, for fuck's sake. which needed to scan your retina and your fingerprints. In other words, only authorized people could open that door, and I was not one of them. All right. Hang on, can I use him? Nope. Alright, let's go get the lieutenant. Hmm. Speed run strat. You move faster diagonally. Welcome to the channel, jungle. I could finally get breathe fun and games. some fresh air. The ground was untended. Uneven grass covered the soil. And the jungle was relentless. Everything was dark, save for a light above the door. In my escape, I ran into a gang of hounds that were sound asleep. Oh no. Um... Pretty sure this is referring to them. Their sense of hearing was one hundred times stronger than ours. Oh, Jesus. I had to pass between them very slowly in order to keep them asleep. 
The further I could tiptoe around them, the better. I'll come back. Need is a lighter. Nice. So does that mean I can go into the other truck? The gate was locked. I had to look for another exit. <laughs> Why? Hey, Your call just woke up a horde of killer hounds. <laughs> run, Fox, run. <laughs> God dang it. That's not going to help my situation. Can I take one of these boxes and hide in it? You're coming with me. I don't think I can go back in. No. This way. Nope. 
Play fetch? No. this Colonel do you copy copy I managed to leave the building This jungle is dense. By the way, I found some sleeping dogs, and I'm going to sneak past them. Don't even think about calling me for the next five minutes. I don't want to wake them up. Got it. Over and out. Had to be so Kojima about. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. I gotta. Robert, still there? Yep. Oh son of a bitch! Colonel, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fox. I managed to leave the building. Well done. Now you have to get as far away as you can. I'm on it. Damn, this jungle is dense. By the way. I found some sleeping dogs, and I'm going to sneak past them. Don't even think about calling me for the next five minutes. I don't want to wake them up. Got it. Over and out. Curious to think what would happen if I uh, chose smell instead. Robert, do you copy? Yo! Okay, he's not going to call me. Jesse here. Over. Nobody else is going to call me. Hopefully! Shoot him? No need. Let's make a bet, Mike. How high? How high what? Fuck! The landmines! Wait! <laughs> the look on your face! Mike, you're a dick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> landmines. Got it. Oh, nice. Reloads going on automatically. Enemies further than four four yards can detect you if you're flat again. I'll definitely need that. Surprise! They had thrown in there somewhere. Hey, it's I'm sleepy. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm sleepy. Thanks for 
coin. Well, whatever that freaky. Oh, hang on, can I shoot those things? I can! Ha 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 ha! Problem solved! How does that taste? this place. Feelings motion trigger. What the fuck? that a base you were on didn't have random fires springing up in a room? Um... I don't remember that being a Metal Gear Solid. Oh, hello.
explore the rest of this place before going up there. Well, did you know that dogs know human languages depending on where they are from and even sound like it? Like a dog from Mexico is like Bow Wow. Uh, I'm just gonna shake my head. They're giving me so many bullets. rooms in Metal Gear 1. Or the electrified floors. I managed to avoid the flames with calculated patience and expertise. Why didn't you use the anti-thermal suit? The one you used to hide from the sensors? It should have protected you from the fire, and you could just walk through. Because... It was erased from my memory. My mind couldn't recall that I had the suit. The same mind that told me about the suit a little while ago? The human brain has great regenerative power. We barely know how it works. So, in other words, you didn't think to use it? Uh, more or less. Well, Mr. Fox... Please continue with your story. I'm kind of tempted to see what happens if I... No! I don't want to go here! Fuck! Okay, good. It's fine, it's fine. We dodged a bullet. Okay, so that only comes up if we didn't use the suit. That's pretty funny. What the hell happened here? There was nobody in the room, but my instincts told me it was a perfect place for a trap. I'm sorry, what? God 
God dang it. It's not one thing, it's another. There was nobody in the room. But... show up. Oh, hey. Fancy that. Break the generator! Hello. What? I'm not even going to give you the rim shot for that one. across the minefield. Nice. I can leave this place with the creepy music.
Fox here. Over. What is it, Fox? Colonel, I have the metal detector. Listen, Fox, those things have a very short range. Tread carefully, or the only thing left of you will be a crater. Reminds me of a Japanese show where the girls pronounce ten hundred and... <laughs> this side. Oh, come on! Oh! Did not mean to do that, but theory. Like trying to go upstairs in, a, in King's Quest. Trying to distract me with all this? I gotta get that medal again. Saw that one coming.
mines weren't the only threat. The jungle was home to ferocious hunters. Oh, you gotta be shitting I me. I noticed the presence of... Oh my god, why? Ugh, what? What, what, what do I pick? Frogs? Okay. Better not be giant frogs. Arrowhead frogs. It's poison. Lethal. A single scratch could make me croak. You have got to be kidding me. And I can't shoot them either. This is about as bad as the poison as hamsters. From uh, Metal Gear 2. Ah, oh, frick, nuggets. Wandering through that jungle, I found something, or rather, someone. Oh, that's not good. I saw the rotting remains of an escaping prisoner. It had a note. If you're reading this note, then I'm dead. My name is Henry Stanley, and I was imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. Damn, just like me. After escaping from my cell, I ran away through the sewers then ended up in the Alpha building. I finally managed to leave that damn building, but now I'm lost in this tropical hell. I've spent 30 years trying to leave this damn jungle, but no luck. I'm old, and my strength is fading. I won't last long. These are my last words. These were his last words. Other than the note, there was a compass, but the needle was missing. A broken compass was useless, so I didn't take it. Don't tell me this is a dead end. Oh, here we go. I 
think I'm going around in circles. Another corpse. No, that's the same one. I searched the corpse. It was also rotting and gripping another compass. The needle was also missing. Someone or something in this jungle was stealing compass needles. There was a secret pocket in his ragged clothes. Within, I found a note. If you only found this note, then someone else stole my other note. Another note? Damn. Someone passed by before I did and stole this poor man's note. I never knew what the other note said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna make another circle around, see what happens. Oh, this one's closed off. So this doesn't. Uh, okay. more dangerous than I expected. <laughs> it was rotting too. Like the others, it had a compass on it. Uh, don't tell me. The needle was missing. Exactly. Could it be that you were running into the same corpse over and over again? I commend you for coming to the same conclusion. I passed by seven times to confirm it. I was wandering in circles. The damn jungle was toying with me. I had to orient myself somehow or I'd end up spending 30 years in that maze of trees. I tried to direct myself by watching the stars. But the damn top-down view only let me see the trees and ground. <laughs> so, I had to find another way to gain direction. Take the compass! There you go. What was the diameter of the compass, Mr. Fox? Around two inches. And how long was the rusty wire, Mr. Fox? Six or seven inches. Wasn't it a little too long to place it inside the compass? I'm stupid, but not that stupid. I just used a small piece of the rusty wire, not the whole thing. I ripped off a piece with my teeth before placing it in the compass. Ow. But that wire wouldn't have been magnetized. How did you expect it to work? Modern compasses don't need the wire to be magnetized. Just turns out the compass wasn't modern. Oh, so it was expecting us to do that. We're all frick nuggets. It is currently 1.09 a.m. I was looking at the compass, thinking of how to make it work, when something caught my eye. In the middle of the grass, something glimmered under the pale moonlight. In my peripheral vision, I noticed I was not the only one to spot it. Ah! Fucking bird. I'm sorry, what is that? Uh. 
Ah, it's got a long tongue. I miss my flamethrower. Uh-oh. Ravens are friends of small, shiny things. I just saw it. Do I have to wait? There we go. all the mines. Well done, Fox. See if you can commandeer an escape vehicle. I will try, Colonel. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. not really how compasses work, but okay.
Wow. Hardly you me? think you're macho because you stuck your dicks in God knows what hole? I'm going to beat you shit stacks into weapons of war, even if it kills you. Where are you from, boy? From Minnesota, sir. Minnesota? Only two things come out of Minnesota. Men and soda. I don't see you bubbling, so you must be a men. What's a men, sir? Do I look like a scientist to you, pissant? Sir, no, sir. You're not worth an urban dictionary entry, shit stain. What do you do at night, scumbag? I sleep, sir. Sleep? Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> Does she need a little nap? We don't get beauty sleep. We take shifts, bitch. We train. We go the extra mile. When do we sleep, sir? During your break time, your highness. But, sir, it's a 15-minute break. Then sleep fast, fuck! Uh, yes, sir. What the fuck happened to your eyebrows? They're shaped, sir. You kidding me? <laughs> Are you the bitch of the yard? Sir, it's personal hygiene, sir. The only reason people get clean is to get fucked. Do you plan on fucking me, bitch? No, sir. Do you plan on fucking the enemy? No, sir. If I see these eyebrows shaped again, I will shape your balls clean with a single vicious rip. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Hey, where the fuck did you come from? You're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece. Did your father fuck an orangutan? Sir, no, sir. Fuck your face is a sales pitch for condoms. Have you ever screwed Needle Dick? Yes, sir. You can't be serious. What did you screw? A light bulb? Sir, no, sir. So you've never screwed in a light bulb? Sir, yes. No, sir. I, I don't know what to say. You say what I tell you to say. Sir, yes, sir. What's your sole purpose in the ex army, asshole? To do whatever you tell me, Drill Sergeant. God! Damn it, boy! That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard! Oh, that's a Forrest Gump sir. reference. Now get out of here! Go back to your barracks! Next group! Platoon! Attention! Are you ladies the new recruits? Fuck, you're the saddest bunch I've ever met! And I've seen stacks of shit taller than you are. You think you're macho because you stuck your dicks in God knows what hole. I'm going to beat you shit stacks into weapons of war, even if it kills you. Where are you from, boy? From Minnesota, sir. Sir, I saw someone behind the fence. Fuck, scumbag. Did I tell you to watch a damn fence? Uh, no, sir. Then does a fence remind you of your mother, motherfucker? Here, you don't see, you don't listen, you don't speak until I order you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Well, that was easy. What do you do at night, scumbag? I arrived at what looked like the exit of a barracks. Mike, 
I'm late and I have to take this truck to the port. Are you gonna open the damn door or not? Hold on, I'm opening it. My instinct told me the gate was going to open and a truck was going to leave. I could sneak onto the truck and get far away from here. See you later. Yo, Mike! Mike! What's up? Hold on. I need to verify the departure permit. Fuck, Mike, hurry up! Yeah, yeah. Yo, Mike! Can I leave now? Negative. The lieutenant canceled the delivery. Uh oh. You'll have to come back in. Oh, holy fuck! Well, shit. The barracks. The trip was shorter than expected. Instead of heading away, I ended up inside the compound. The ground was muddy, beaten lifeless by countless combat boots. There were sandbags and boxes everywhere. I heard Mike getting off the truck and talking to the other Mike. Hey Mike, what the hell happened? Someone screwed up and loaded the wrong stuff. Useless fuckwads. They reported that they'll get the correct stuff loaded soon. Sounds like a nap is in order. No can do. They're loading onto another truck in the north parking lot. Serial number 233980. So move your ass there. They told me to head to the south gate just so I could be sent back to the north one? Fucking bureaucracy. Yeah, that sounds like you, Mike. My instinct was back. <laughs> and it knew of another truck I could ride. My plan to stow away wasn't screwed at all, just slightly delayed. I only had to reach the north gate without being seen. Gotta sleep, Mike. I'll give me my coin back. Ooh, Binox. with like the binoculars in uh, Metal Gear. Use them to see further unless it's backwards. Yep. Works just like in Metal Gear. Next screen over. On that base, drill sergeants were assholes. They forced their platoons to run all around the complex. I had to be careful not to be seen. I need a cardboard box. I just neutralized a soldier, but I couldn't leave him in sight. Those platoons could pass by, see him, and raise the alarm. So I made sure to carry the soldiers I neutralized, hiding them elsewhere, out of sight of those patrols. Oh, now they're gonna have me do that. 
Alright, let's try it again. Just neutralized a soldier. All right, come on, buddy. Listen. Why not? There was a painted line on the ground. Are you kidding me? And a simple line stopped you? This was no mere simple line. It was full of tentacles. Okay, okay, Mr. Fox. You could not cross that line. Let's just focus on what happened in the opposite direction. snap. Yeah, let's top off. Nope. Crap. Damn it. I think I tried that before and it didn't work. Shit. 
No, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. this blood here uh, I don't know what you're talking about Jacker here. Ghost, do you copy? What? Who the hell are you? Huh? Who are you? Where is Ghost? I don't know who that is. I think you got the wrong channel. Oops. Ugin must have been tampering with the communicator. Damn geeks. Over and out. Who the hell was that? Colonel, still there? Affirmative. Where are you? I'm still in the compound. What? Weren't you escaping in a truck? What the hell are you doing back there? I snuck onto a truck, but it went backwards and returned to the compound. Oh, damn it, Fox. Colonel, I know about another truck that's going to leave in a while. I'll call you later. Over and out. Robert, still there? Yep. Jesse here. Over. Doctor wasn't want to call me. No. Okay. Dang it! Escaping prisoner. Send back. Wow. That was unlucky. Now we got a serious problem. There's a bunch of them around there. Inside that barrack, there were some guards. I didn't see them because they were sitting behind some bunk beds, slipping out of guard duty, or running around the compound, or worse. 
but thanks to my extraordinary hearing acuity, I could hear their conversation. Okay, when you enter the dungeon, two skeletons with rusty axes block your way. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eye sockets watches you fixedly. What do you do? I load my elven bowl and shoot. Hang on. Are you really shooting an arrow at a monster that can't bleed? What do you think will happen? That the arrow gets stuck between its ribs and slows it down? Someone just walked in. Fuck. It must be the drill sergeant. Quick, hide yourselves. Can I get a cardboard box? That's just unfair. How come they get a cardboard box and I don't? They were playing D&D too. I have no idea, but I'm just going to roll with it. The point is that they can't see me. Oh, they can see me! Face, escaping prisoner. Send back them. Goddamn juxtaposition. Can I get a cardboard box? I think that's going to help my situation here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Face, escaping prisoner. Send back up. I'm just gonna cheese it. Nope. Okay. right. Never mind. That's way too many of them. some guard. Yeah, sure, fisty cuffs. Uh-oh. 
wasted by that much. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, they wouldn't have seen me there. Oh god damn it! some guards. I didn't see them because they were sitting behind... No! Come on! I'm freaking! Uh, are you kidding me? I'm supposed to grab him. There's so many of them out there.
don't don't tell me that one's gonna circle around. Oh, come on! Just straight up foobar. Before peeing, I put all of the knocked out guards inside. I didn't want them to be discovered and have the alarm sounded while I was making a deposit. God damn it. Come here. Escaping prisoner. No. Face. Escaping prisoner. Fuck you. Send back Oh my god, there's so many of them. Who saw me? Oh, God damn it, fucking asshole. Thank <laughs> you. 
terrible. Keep going. No, d d just keep going. Don't don't go down. Don't stop going up. Go right. Go to the right. That's not going to the right. Go to the right. All I need. You just help me get past all of this. They stay down there, we're good. Now it's just a question of those guys. Dang it. Oh, 
Oh, don't tell me a third one just should... Oh, for fuck's sake. The guy was so hammered that he confused me with one of his buddies. Okay. Hey, Mike. You want a drink? Uh, no thank you. I don't drink when I escape. Hold on. You're not Mike. No, I'm Fox. Jesse Fox. You're the prisoner? I would. Escape too, if I could. Why? To see my daughter. It turns out that he had a little daughter who he hadn't seen in three years. Every year he requests leave to go see her, and every year his drill sergeant rejects it. Poor man. So, in a week, the daughter was turning six, and Mike requested leave again. And yet, again, the drill sergeant rejected it. Oh, we're killing the drill which sergeant. Which was why he was drowning his sorrows. Until he knocked himself out. Are you kidding me? Kill my... Which one? urinating. Please don't tell me you pissed that guard off while he was urinating. I couldn't. Someone beat me to it. What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Sir, I'm peeing, sir. Did you wash your hands? Uh, no, sir. I'll wash them when I'm done, sir. Are you touching your dick with your dirty hands? How can you be such a pig? Hands are washed before, not after peeing. Sir, yes, sir. Who does that? Why did you stop peeing, scumbag? Sir, I ran out of pee, sir. What a pussy! Who do you think you are, a fucking civil? A soldier continues peeing even if his balls are empty. Now get the hell out of here! Sir, yes, sir. Sergeant, there's someone behind you. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to look behind me? Uh, no, sir. Then why the hell are you looking behind me? Hey, you don't look, listen, or speak, unless I tell you to do it. Understood? Sir, yes, sir. That damn drill sergeant acted tough with his men, but he ended up crying like a baby with me. Who the fuck are you? And where the hell is your uniform? 
Uh... In the laundry, sir. And what in the hell is your uniform doing in the laundry? It was dirty, sir. Are you kidding me? Since when do clothes have to be clean? In Texas, we put it in the laundry when it stands on its own, sir. Fuck! You're from Texas? Only two things come from Texas. Charcoal and assholes. Which one are you, boy? I don't see any ash smears, but I definitely see a shit stain. But sir, Texas exports propane accessories. Shut the fuck up, shit smear! I'm not a shit... Yes, you are! No, no, I'm not! Hold on, Mr. Fox. Didn't you say it was the drill sergeant who ended up crying like a baby? You're contradicting yourself. It was you. Sergeant, execute this liar. Yes, sir. What? ran into it. Who the fuck are you? Okay, we'll go with chickens, uh... It's been stolen, sir. Someone broke into my locker and took it. And who the hell was it? <laughs> Tempted? But curious. <laughs> okay. It was Mike, sir. Damn, son of a bitch! Which one? You might need to narrow it down, scumbag. He's tall, ripped, and from Texas. Just like me, sir. Fuck! You're from Texas? Only two things come from oh, Texas. No. Charcoal and assholes! Which one are you, boy? I don't see any ash smears, but I definitely see a shit stain. But, sir... Texas exports propane accessories. Shut the fuck up, shit smear! I'm not a shit. Yes, you are. No, no, I'm not. Hold on, Mr. Fox. Didn't you say? Okay, so it's not that one. I feel like that wash closet is a as a trap. Or water closet, I mean. So we're just gonna keep going. Oh no, let's let's check let's try the other choice. The uh I ran into a gun. Who the fuck are you? Uh lost. I can't find it, sir. I must have lost it. You shit for brains! And do you have a spare one? Yes, sir. And where would that crusty-ass spare uniform be? Okay, so it wouldn't be... Oh. We had more choices for stolen. It's been stolen, sir. Someone broke into my locker and took it. And who the hell was it? Go with loyalty. I can't say who did it, sir. Why the hell not, scumbag? I'd never betray the loyalty to my mates. Loyalty to some scumbag mate that stole from you? In this world, those who break the rules are scum, sir. In Texas, those oh, who God damn it. Don't, mates don't, are don't scum, mention sir. Texas, you Fuck. dumbass. You're from Texas? Ugh. God damn it, Jesse.
Let's try that. One I'm more ready. time. Who the fuck are you? Stolen. It's been stolen, sir. Clue. We still don't know his identity, sir, but we have a clue. What clue, you fuck? We know he was born. Um, why is arm a choice? Without one arm. Are you kidding me, scumbag? There's no such thing as a one armed soldier here. All you maggots barely shoot properly with two arms. What do you mean? Back in Texas, we can God shoot without using any arm. Fuck! You're from Texas? I think if we say place, I'll probably say that this guy's from Texas. Who the fuck are you? Stolen. It's been stolen, sir. Someone broke in. Clue. We still don't know his identity, sir. Place. In the same state you were, sir. So that son of a bitch is from Texas. Hold on. You're telling me you're from Texas? Only two things come out of Texas. Propane and assholes. I don't see any propane accessories, and I know you're full of shit. Me full of shit? What, you little? Of course you are. Look at your brown eyes. What? My eyes are blue. You sure? The whole base is talking about your brown eye. No. No. I'm not. To avoid confusion in the record, did he have blue or brown eyes, Mr. Fox? Both, but now he had black eyes. On second thought, I'll leave this out of the report. Proceed. Just as he started to tear up, I helped old Blue Eyes kiss the canvas. <laughs> Boss defeated. Thanks, dude. Oh, I mean... Freeze, or I'll shoot. What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Aiming at you with my weapon. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to aim your weapon at me? Uh... No, sir. Then why the hell are you aiming your fucking weapon at me? Here you don't look, listen, or speak unless I tell you to do it. Understood? Sir, yes, sir. Did you wash your hands before aiming your weapon at me, scumbag? Uh, no, sir. Fuck, how can you be such a pig? Get the hell out of here. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> <sighs> well, that happened. Didn't really have a problem with damage to begin with. This, on the other hand. I couldn't stamp the form until I found an ink pad. Or a tampon. Jesus Christ. Alright. We'll just hold on to that for another time. We're gonna save, we're gonna stop here. Jesus Christ. That'll be it for Unmetal. Excuse me. I'd like to thank you all for joining me for that. That was interesting. But, uh, anyways, um, Friday we'll finally come back to more, uh, Metroid. Actually, hang on. Let me check something real quick. Because Cause Bat Gwen plans on doing um, a, a birthday stream on Friday. But I don't know what time he'll be doing it. Uh, stream schedule? 
All right, here we go. Uh, 12 hour stream from 2 p. Okay, so yeah, it, it's going to be overlapping mine. So I'm not going to stream on Friday. Uh, you can catch his stream. I'll, pro I'll be joining him uh, for when he streams on Friday. Or, yeah, Friday. Uh, he starts at 2 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. And it's going to be for 12 hours. So it's going to continue on until 2 a.m. or unless he decides to stop it early for some reason. But uh, yeah, he's going to be doing uh, a stream for that. And he's got some. Uh, what, what, what's, what's it called? The. Um, uh, fuck, what was the, the thing that. that, that we, I, I, I even suggested it! Bean Boozled, that's the one. Yeah, he's got some of those and some spicy beans. So, that's something to look forward to. Uh, where, where did I put it? Um, but yeah, it's good. it's gonna be his uh, it's his birthday stream. So head on over there, uh, say uh, happy birthday to him. That's on Friday again, uh, 2 p.m. His channel. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on his channel. So that Twitch. If we can spell Twitch. Dot TV. Is it the back win? I forget. Yeah, the Batwin. Not Te Batwin, the Batwin. But uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mike. Uh, check out his channel. Uh, he also streams, but uh, you can also um, head on over to the Discord. Let me put the links here. Uh, uh, the first link will take you to the Lazy Leaf Discord where you can catch him along with Oh Hey My K and Gummed Off the Gray and many others in our circle of uh, streamers. Uh, come hang out with us, come be lazy with us, like hanging out with us during the Friday birthday stream of uh, Backwinds. Uh, a couple other stuff that goes on there uh, watch parties, DD, uh, gaming talks, penguin news, movie news whole bunch of other stuff in between. The second link will take you to the sister site for this channel. You can find more info and other upcoming streams that I have planned as well as my archive for all the past streams that I've done as my VOD dump on uh, YouTube. And if you've got any questions, comments, or concerns that you would like me to know about or any suggestions that you might have for me for future Let's Plays or Retro Nights, head on over to the contact page and shoot them out to me over there. Alternatively, you can scroll down below or off to the side depending which platform you're watching from uh, to find the um, Twitter link to reach out to me as well along with other links to help support the channel and a couple other streamers that I follow on Twitch who aren't connected or affiliated with the Lazy League they're just ones that I personally like to watch and follow check them all out when you can oh great again thank you for joining me tonight for this session of Unmetal as a makeup stream for missing out on last night that'll be it for this week head on over to the back one when he streams on Friday for his uh for his birthday catch Mike when he streams tomorrow night I think he's still doing some Baldur's Gate 3 that's up uh, that right All right, so yeah, catch them when they stream. But other than that, you guys have a great weekend. Till then, take care, love and hype, life is good. Good night, everyone.